<laughs> okay, okay. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Um, if you're new here, please don't like to. F <laughs> guys welcome to my youtube channel if you're a tuning subscriber welcome my love and if you're new here please don't forget to subscribe and join the family so today i'm not alone um i posted um a thingy on my story i don't know if you've seen it but if you did there were people that like i asked people to like put in questions that they would like to ask the opposite gender because they have the opposite gender with court like it so i was like okay let me just get my girls to like um ask questions that they're scared to ask the like significant other Okay, this is not my significant other, but um, yeah, like a most perspective to like kind of answer the questions you guys asked on my Instagram. So the first question is, um, where is it? She's being rude, y'all. How oh. y'all doing? Um, <laughs> okay, please introduce yourself. <laughs> she's being rude. Tell her she's rude. Comment below, down below. I'm not like rude, guys. Rude. I just got no. carried away. I'm sorry. So like, yeah, um, it's KRAMS. That pre nigga K Rams, aka Toolkit, aka Don Wang, and all that, you feel what I'm saying? You're welcome to her channel. Yeah. Also, if you know this, that this face is familiar, he's like an actor on Skim ah. Like, in talk, your Skim and then, like, he DJs to, like, Kitchen 100, what else? What else? What else? 100 capitals, whatever, dog. Yeah. Like, whatever I'm booked, you know? Yeah. But, yeah. Can start um, the first question is. If you like purity in a woman so much, why are you engaging with other women before settling? You are contributing to their ruin, don't you think? Because yeah. you guys like to say, I want a virgin or I want a girl that has like a low body count, but you still go around and have things <laughs> and, and have what, and, and with like a <laughs> bunch of girls. I feel like I'm going to answer this from like a nigga's perspective and my perspective, right? Okay. I feel like with niggas, it's more of like, it's a matter of like an ego thing, you know. I wouldn't want to like enter a club or enter a place and have multiple niggas be like, "Oh, and I've done that." What, what, what you know? Because mm -hmm. I feel like uh, uh, a man's pride is in his woman. Mm -hmm. You know, I wouldn't want to rock up to a place and have other niggas be like, "Oh, and I've done that. I've done that. I've done that." That's disrespectful. You feel what I'm saying? And it's a matter of like, bro. Like from my perspective, it's, it's like, bro, we just live and we grown, bro. Like you know. Can't, I can't expect you to be like 20 something and still be a virgin Unless you're from like a strict ass family Or you have, you know But like yeah, it's a mess of like, ah, like It is what it is, you know But I wouldn't marry like a girl that has a, a, a high body count Oh, you do want to get married Yeah, but I wouldn't marry like a girl who has a high body but count But how are you going to know? Ah, but if you're my girl and we, you're going to have to come clean We're being honest, right? But how are you going to know? You're never gonna know. If she's lying, then that's all up to her, dog. It is what it is. You feel what I'm saying? I feel like the guilty conscience will just hit her and not me. So it is what it is. Even if she's lying or not lying, it is what it is. Okay. But yeah, from my perspective, it's like, ah, dog, do whatever you want to do. But I wouldn't marry a girl like a body count that's more than 10. Or more than 5. 10? Okay. Do you all go to Groove to get lucky? To get lucky. Yeah. What you mean? See, like, get a girl. You know that I'm gonna leave with the girl today. Like, I'm gonna leave with the girl tonight. It depends on who's the nigga. I've never went to groove and like be part of like the crowd and be like, okay, I'm looking for like a no. It's a mess of like, whenever I go to groove, it's work. So it's work first. If I'm done grooving and I want to stay at that place, then I don't expect if I see a pretty girl that I'm interested in, it's like okay now nah, let me take your number and like whenever you feel we'll, you know link up get to know each other. Mm -hmm. I don't do the whole okay now nah, let's let's leave let's go to my place now. Nah, you could be you could be like really sick and I wouldn't know that. So imagine I'm like okay now nah, you sick and I'm doing that ah I, I shy and I'm sick and I'm just <laughs> like nah I'm very skeptical of that. So it's a matter of like um I need to I need to like get to know you first and yeah. see what your vibe is. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's a good answer. But it's probably niggas. It's probably niggas who like. Who do? You know, yeah, 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 a lot of niggas. The, do. Yeah. Okay. The third question is: Is it concerning if you meet a girl and she's too good in bed? Like she's too good. I'm not like I'm not asking these questions myself. You say them. <laughs> and she's too good. Yeah. What you mean by it? she's too good? Like she's too good. Like she like you like a radio. <laughs> 
It's not concerning. If 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 I would cuff and my girlfriend's doing that, it's gonna be concerning. Like, how did she learn all these things, bro? But if it's just like a girl I'm catching the vibe with, where sneaky link is like, ah dog. It is what it is, man. Do your thing. I don't care. Do your thing. Okay. Would you have a threesome? Wait, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> okay. Hold on. How do you feel about niggas being too good in bed? Well, I think that's awesome. For guys, it's awesome. I mean, like, even with the body count issue, if a girl has a body, like a higher body count, it's an issue. But if you have a like a higher body count, it's not an issue. It's not much of an issue. So would you say it's double standards? Yeah. It Why? Is. Because like they expect more from girls and guys. But let me let me give you my perspective on that, right? Mm -hmm. I feel like for girls it's easier to get six. Right? Niggas is for thirsty. What? For girls it's easier to get six. Yeah. Because niggas is thirsty. Niggas would hit anything that's walking and has like a coochie. Right? But for niggas it's hard to attain coochie. Mm -hmm. Not just any girl would just give you coochie. Yeah. So for, for a nigga to like get a lot of coochie, you have to like stand out from other niggas. Like you must be really like outstanding for a lot of girls to want to fuck you. Like what's that one thing that makes a lot of girls want to have sex with you? Mm -hmm. So you probably even, like you, you work on your value. Like maybe you have to stand out, you have to smell good, you have to look good, you have to have money, you have to be famous and all that. You feel what I'm saying? It's, mm -hmm. There's always something to work upon. And with girls, like you don't even, you can be the ugliest girl and there's a nigga who probably smash. Valid. Exactly, you feel what yeah. I'm saying? So it's easier for girls to get coochie, but it's harder for niggas to get coochie. So when you get a lot of coochie as a nigga, you get praise. Because, like, what makes you so different from other niggas for you to get so much coochie? Like, what do these girls see? Okay. You feel what I'm saying? So it's a mess of, like, niggas work for their value, girls are born with value. Mm -hmm. So all, all you have to do as a girl is preserve your value. Mm -hmm. You know, and mm -hmm. niggas, you have to work for your value. Yeah, okay, you really have to. Exactly. So, like, yeah, that's. That's how I, I view it. Okay. That was the next question. The next question is Would you have a threesome, two guys, and one girl? Let me let me see how you're gonna answer that. I'm not I'm not insecure about my shit, so I've done it. You what? Yeah. But it was You've not, done it so you would do it. I've done it. And it it was not a mess of like Two niggas heading heading at the same time. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> no, I guess I'm doing what you do. You was like, you know, at a time. So I'm also like, you know. Yeah. No, it's a matter of like, bro. Like, I'm not insecure about my my thing, right? Mm -hmm. And I know like what I what I gave to the table, what I my services as a business, you know. Mm -hmm. And it was not like we hitting at the same time. It's like I'm hitting first and he's hitting after me, but it's the same girl, same night, same time. Okay. Yeah, How so did I, I feel though? I thought I got my pleasure because. Because basically, I get my pleasure from pleasure. Right? Was it planned, or you guys were like tipsy, or you got in the moment? It was not planned. That's the thing. So it was. It was a cool experience. <laughs> yeah, really cool I can experience. imagine. Um, weaves or natural hair? If natural, does the length matter? Yeah, what, what What are you into? Those with like natural hair or like weaves, inches? I would marry a, a natural hair, but I would hit like a weave girl. If you want to say. Because, okay, yes. Like, I would hit a baddie, but I would never cuff a baddie. But for a wife, material, initial girl, 9 to 5 girl, I would marry that. Okay. Yeah, but for aesthetics, I would hit a baddie. Like a frontal girly, a weave girly. Like a long ass, extra long nails yeah, baddie. Like, I would hit that just for the sake of like pride and catalog. Yes. But I would never marry that. Ooh. Yes. Yeah. So <laughs> it's, it's, it's natural girls, you know, 9 to 5 girls, like, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And also, the natural hair, does the length matter? Nah. Does it? Okay, yeah, it does matter in terms of like, yo, thug. I don't know, thug. Short hair, like, yo, you must be very gorgeous for you to pull off like a short hair, like, type of, you know? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, nah, I prefer like, you know? Yeah. A good, a, a long enough hair. <laughs> a long enough hair. Okay. Yeah. Should I go to the next question? <clears throat> the next one says, why do men often lead us on knowing very well who they're just passing and sometimes they're trying to prove a point in my Why do you lead girls on? Like, just tell a person by now, hey, I do not like you. Or I do like you, but not in that way. Or I don't think this could work. Like, be honest from the get-go. From my perspective, I don't believe in lying, right? I would never lie to get a girl. So I feel like my perspective is irrelevant to this question, but from like another nigga's perspective, it's like, 
let's say as a group like niggas talk right oh okay. no nah, i'll probably get that girl ah you lying blah 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 and i'm trying to i'm going to try to prove a point mm -hmm. so this guy okay i'm going to try to prove a point by getting male validation which i don't understand personally right but it's like getting male validation like oh no nah, i've hit that mm -hmm. you know so if, if you a nigga and you've hit like a bad <laughs> or a nigga that or a girl that most niggas want you get points for that it's like damn you hit that and a lot of niggas want that but mm -hmm. you hit that so you get points for that as niggas but the whole leading one part, bro, is like, I don't know. <laughs> you hate them, me. Huh? You hate the girl. No, bro, you just like, a lot of niggas prioritize, you know, fornication. So niggas just trying to like get fornication and get out, but like get out of the situation. So like, yeah, that's the case, I guess. I think, okay, no. That's not nah, totally me. Speak your mind. <laughs> I was gonna say it's like that thing, but no. You was gonna say what? Yeah, fuck that thing. Fuck that thing, huh? Girls also lead niggas on. They do. Exactly, so how's that fucked up? I think with girls, uh, it's because you don't wanna let that good thing go. What good thing? Like maybe you, like you're a good person and they see potential in you, but they don't wanna be with you. Why? Maybe like you're not the type necessarily or whatever or you just you have a cousin or a now, but you just give them that feeling when you're talking to them but they don't want to be with you so basically girls are using niggas for attention yeah for that's that. why you must be a nice guy bro see if you a nigga watching this don't be a nice guy bro because like, nice guys got hurt yeah like be be the asshole no like, don't be the asshole do not be the why? asshole like you no. you must be that nigga that she's always worried about like yo wait like he's not answering my calls he's not answering my texts nah, he's probably cheating you must, you must be that nigga rather be toxic than be played bro you either play or get played mm. okay this is the next one it says do you all actually care about women's pleasure or if <laughs> or if you're good then all's good if you do what do you think gets a woman there <laughs> I get my pleasure from pleasure, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. So it is for me like woman's pleasure like plays a role because I have I have pride, I have a lot of ego. So I wouldn't want like girls I've had to talk bad on me. You no, know, I would want when when girls talk because girls talk, right? They do talk, you know. So girls talk. So I would want like when I've had a girl and she talks, it was like, damn, that nigga rocked my world. You feel what I'm saying? It's it's, it's a good it's a good image. You know, and you get girls by having girls. So if if if, if a girl's gonna talk to her, like her group of friends, one of them they is gonna be interested. You know, so after her, she's she's next because she's interested. She wants That's to find what out. That's what they say. Never talk about your experiences <laughs> to your friends because what are you saying to me now? You know, so it's like you need girls to get girls. So if she's gonna talk about the experience and she she's gonna rant about how good it was. Another girl's probably gonna want to find out behind her back. So that's good for you as a nigga. But at the same time, it's like, dog, just for your pride too. Just like, you know, have people see that, yo, now that girl's obsessed with that nigga. So it's, it's, it's obvious why she's obsessed, you know? Yeah, for my pride, I believe like a woman's pleasure is like mandatory before my pleasure. Yeah, thanks. And what was the question, wait? If you do, what do you think? Gets a woman day. <laughs> it depends. It really does depend. It depends. It depends on On a lot of things, bro. What? A lot. Bye-bye. Bye -bye. Like, bro. <laughs> then, okay, I can't, I can't give niggas the recipe, of course. But like, it's a mess of like, women's bodies are different, right? Mm -hmm. What pleases another girl cannot please the next one. Mm -hmm. right? It's a mess of like, how you explore the body but foreplay is important bro like did you google this nah okay who told you that experience dog but of course before i had experience i had to like do my research and all that you know because mm. like i said i've always had like ego and pride so i, I wanted even like my first time to have that girl go crazy like that <laughs> nigga out of my world you know so i don't think a lot of niggas invest their time in like research and all that Mm -hmm. So I've always been that that nigga to like research to make sure like everything is perfect or everything like you know is lit. So it's a mess of like girls' bodies are different. You no, know? one might like make kisses, one might not. One might like the you're licking, one might not. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's a, it depends on the girl and how you explore the body. But the full play is important because full play you learn the female's body. Because I'm I'm not the type to skip full play. I believe like I enjoy full play more than like the deed. 
Like, I'd rather have full play than hit. You know, so yeah. Full play is important, and even the kissing, bro. Like, as a nigga, when you kiss, that there's, there's a masculine shandis that happens to the body. Like, bro, it's, it's, a, it's, it's like a whole theory, bro. I can't explain the theory now. Y'all gonna have, like, to check the sauce. Yeah. Okay. I'm asking you, Nick. This is not me, though. Mm -hmm. It says, do you have the one hand that you don't want? But also, you don't want her to have other. You don't want other people to have her. If so, why aren't you letting her go? I don't care, bro. Like for me, it's like I don't care. Do whatever you want to do. But oh, so you don't have a girl that you like wasting her time. Nah. No. Like I'm, I'm the type to tell girls like, okay, if we, if we, let's say, we, can I use like vulgar language? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's say if if we. Yeah. I'm the type to tell you, okay, cool. Listen, because we. Bro, please respect me enough to like f another, another nigga with a condom on protection, you know, yeah. just so I don't get sick. Because if I'm not gonna cuff you, it's it's quite clear I'm wasting your time, right? We just vibe and we enjoy each other's company. But I'm not gonna like try to like refrain you from like having other options. Like I said, I have a lot of ego, so I want you to like have other other niggas so you can see what's the shit. I'm the best nigga out of all those niggas, sexually, you know. They're not gonna please you like I do. Mm -hmm. So you can you can go ahead and have like other niggas just to prove a point that a hey, not another not a lot of niggas will do what I do. You know? So it's an ego thing. It's like ah, go have fun, bro. Go do you. But you know, but you're not gonna get a nigga like me, bro. Like you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's a matter of like ah, do you? I don't care. But if it was my girl. Then shit is it's different. But if it's a girl vibe, different. yeah, if it's a girl vibing with us, like you don't care. Yeah, go have other options, bro. I'm not gonna be always available for you. Because you've never like let her go on like wasted her time. I have. You have. Yeah, like I have a lot of girls that most many times. Cause I'm not, I'm not trying to like have a relationship with them, but like I enjoy that company. Like I enjoy having conversations with. But females. do you tell them that? Yeah, I never lie. That you don't like them like that. You don't see like like, I don't want to have a relationship, but I enjoy your company. Okay. Yeah. But when I buy a force, what's in your relationship? I'm a pretty nigga with some game, so yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. This one says, do you all consider maturity your brains or you all just care about the looks? I'm very picky when it comes to relationships. Hence, like, I've only been in one relationship, right? So when I, when I date a girl, or oh, if I'm if I'm looking at you as like a potential candidate to date, mm -hmm. I'm gonna have conversations with you. I'm I'm attracted to smart girls. Like I'm attracted to girls who can hold like an intellectual conversation. Mm -hmm. So if you if you can't hold like an intellectual conversation, or if you don't have like a conversation of substance, then I'm not really attracted to you. But if if let's say lust comes into like place, I'm probably gonna hit it. But I'm I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna cut you. So yeah, the standard is high. I feel like when it comes to dating, that's when like <laughs> it's hard to attain. Dog. Like I don't just date. You know, it's hard for me to like fall for a girl and date her. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you are picky, okay? Very picky. So the brain is what yeah, matters. It matters. The too. looks, they don't. Ah, they they do, bro. I can't just because you're smart doesn't mean I'm gonna like date you, bro. You what if they're really smart and they're like funny and everything, but that they are ugly? Okay, they're funny and everything, but their their face is pretty flat ass. No nothing, literally no nothing. Nah. No, but they're funny and they're pretty. Like, dog, I want when I rock, <laughs> like when I pull up with my girl, dog. I want niggas to like shit, you know. That's yours. Yeah, but yeah, you feel what I'm yeah. saying, like, dog. My woman is my pride, dog. I want niggas to be like, damn. But I'm not like an ass person. Like, you don't have to have like a big ass. I'm not an ass person. I don't like big asses. Some of like slim thick, you know, pretty. Sana, the girls you're gonna get out of this video. The girls you're gonna get. What you mean? <laughs> when not? When not? When not? <laughs> no, it's not even like that, bro. It's like I'm not, I'm not into like thick girls, bro. Like I don't, I don't like. Girls. <laughs> I love like a, a low petite, slim thick, you know, smart, pretty. You don't have to be a ten out of ten. Ten out of ten, I like baddies. Your Instagram baddies. I don't like Instagram baddies. You no, know? I, I do like an eight out of ten, seven out of ten. You know, I'm cool with that. Mm -hmm. You know. Okay, that's a good answer. Okay, this one says thoughts on a hand that shoots in her shots at you. What do you think about girls that shoot their shots? It depends how you do it. Don't be cringe. Don't be cringe. What do yeah, you mean? Like don't yeah. use don't use cringy pickup lines, bro. Yeah, I know. 
But look, and this all people lens are cringe. Like, like, no, there's ones you be like, damn, Let's how did she think of that? You know, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But there's ones you be like, ah, nah, hell nah, next, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it depends on how you do it. If you're funny with it, then yeah, I appreciate funny females. If you good looking and you funny like shit, you know, yeah, that's, that's a turn on. But what do you think about them? Do you think they get like a good relationship after that or they just get views because it's like, you were literally like... It takes a lot for a girl to shoot a shot. It takes it, a lot. Does it really? If most pretty girls have pride. Mm-hmm. So for a pretty female to shoot their shot, then you like shit. They you really know. like it. Yeah, you know, so it's like, it's cool. It's cool. Okay. You know, at the same time, for me, it'd be like, for me, it's difficult, you know, because like, ah, the way you should see your shot, you probably saw me on TV, you know. Yeah. Yeah, so it's, it's kind of like difficult to distinguish whether like a girl fucks with me for me or like the image. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yo, I hate it. <laughs> and you're going to be that type that goes to like Swaziland to go look for somebody that doesn't know you from like TV Oh, like my time. What do you think? I believe I believe in being content, dog. Like I'm just living. Whatever comes to me comes. Whatever goes goes. What's meant for me will find its way to me. Yeah. I'm not gonna go out of my way to go find a wife now. Yeah. yeah. Okay. The next one says, at what what age do you think men are honestly ready to settle down? It depends. There's phases, right? Yeah. There's phases. So for 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 example, me. In my thirties or in my late twenties, I'm not gonna be in the club because I've done that enough at like my early age, you know. Mm-hmm. So if I, I, I believe with me, I didn't skip any stage. I did everything that I needed to do, so I know when I settle down, I won't have temptations. I won't like have the urge to go to a club. Yes. You know, so it's like it depends. But with me, it's like I have everything in my mind. Everything is planned, you know. Like I'm trying to get married around like 27, 28. Wait, after you settle down, will you treat um DJ? I'm not planning to like do DJ my whole life. I just do it as a, as a hobby. Yeah. And something I enjoy doing. I love being creative. So having to like be creative and still make money out of it is like yeah. That's not something I'm planning to do my whole life. Nah. Like nah. I I don't think men ever settle down, guys. I'm they gonna don't. Settle down. They don't. Now, but Boba Boy, they pay no loop. Like you know, at clubs, your dads are there. They never settle down because they They're skip w- stages. Niggas got money and feel the need like, okay, because I have money, now I can go get other girls. I've had girls before I had money. I had girls back in high school before I had the money. So it's like, the money won't make me think different, or they make me think as if like I'm gonna get more girls. Now I've been getting girls. I'm I'm cool with that. You know, now girls have to like impress me. I don't impress girls now. I'm already impressed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already yes, impressed. Nev, Nev. Do you really um do they actually like it when a girl's not No. No? No. 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 I think that's cool guys. You should do that because when you like writing those long ass paragraphs, they don't give a F. Like they literally don't give it's like, oh you really care. No, have that's so cute. Have a and balance. Don't give a, have a balance. Like I don't love I don't like killing your girls. To a point where like, ah, don't they text you every time? No, I'm a busy nigga. I won't be able to text you every day or every time. You know? Ah. Maybe maybe in the morning, like, yo, I'm gonna be busy. Listen, listen, listen. I'll call you whenever I'm free. Okay. But don't be on some, yo, where are you? Ah, you don't love me no more. Like, I hate those type of girls, bro. Like, be understandable, bro. Know that, hey, I have a life besides you. You know. Mm-hmm. Like you should too. I don't. I don't want to be a girl's main priority. You know, have a life going on. You have dreams. Go take care of your dreams. You know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's God. Go pray to God. You know, like have have your priorities straight. So you can't expect me to text you every minute. For example, if I was dating and I had a girl texting me now, it's like I'd get annoyed because I'm working right now. I'm filming. You know, mm-hmm. but like yeah, I would want a girl who's like really understandable. And yeah, bro, like have a balance. Oh, he's not letting me that, Konyal. Yeah. Oh God, you don't understand, Swati. Hey, what the hell was that? That's you're busy with your. Mm. What am I? Right Are you? No, exactly. Your girl would be like that. Yeah, I don't like girls like that. Like, I understand. The thing is, with me, it's like I'm good in communicating. I know how to communicate. So I'm not gonna go out of my way to like just keep quiet. My no. Like, yo, I'm I'm filming with a girl. We filming this and this and this and that. So if I don't answer your text, then like the next like thirty or one hour, just not filming. Yeah. You know, I'm the top nigga to come to like communicate. So if I'm gonna communicate and still like try to call me or like try yeah. to see who's the girl, yeah, that's, like, yeah, that's nah. Too much. 
girls. Yeah, you insecure. I don't like insecure girls. Have you ever been with, like, when you were dating, have you ever, like, shot a video with somebody else while you were dating with, like, a girl? Mm. How did your girl take it, like, your girlfriend? How did, how did she take it? At the end of the day, she got me, like, when we dated, I was already doing content like that. So just because I made you, I'm not going to change, like, my content. But I'm going to have But boundaries. how did she feel about it? Of course, no, nobody would be okay with that. But, like, for the sake of me or my, my career, she should, should have to understand. That's how I make my money. People yeah. love seeing me engage with females. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, I think that's all the questions. That's all. Yeah, I deleted most of them when when you are answering them. Oh yeah. But thank you guys for tuning in. If you have questions, you can like drop them down in the comment section and everything. I hope you really enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to check out his channel. He already posts, but please go check it out I'm and motivate him to post more often. Yeah, you feel what I'm we saying? Know, like, we know, Mr. Sir, that you're always busy and you don't have time to take concerts, but like, please try to, like, you know. If they have this, is girl, I'm gonna like be Please consistent. go subscribe to his channel and comment and say, please be consistent. <laughs> yeah? Yes, please go do it. Really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you in the next video. Love you guys. Ha, ha, ha.